guys, saying every boxing do this is back for another video. And in this video, I like to give you my prediction for uh, a fight that's just been announced. You know, in the world weight division, a really good fight, good competitive fight. It's Errol Spence Jr. versus Sean Showtime Porter. Now, one thing I've got to say before I get into this prediction video, guys, what a great fight! You know, um, finally we get a really good matchup in the world weight division for a while now. You know, and uh, yeah, it's going down. You know, the the top four welterweights. You know, finally preparing to get on slowly, and we're gonna find out who the top dog of the world weight division is eventually. You know. And we're getting closer to that though, we're getting closer to the answers. So let's get into it, you know. Uh, Sean Porter, we'll start off with Sean Porter first of all. Sean Porter looking great, you know, um, beating the likes of, uh, you know, Danny Garcia recently and Jordanus Ugas recently, you know. Um, he looked really good in them fights, you know. He's definitely learned from his losses, I believe, against Kelbrook and uh, Keith One Time Furman. You know, he's using more of his jab. Um, still got the same sort of style. Uh, hasn't changed up his boxing style of aggressive fighting coming forward, you know, uh, recklessly, you know, with uh, overlooping left and wide hooks, you know. Um, that's just generally the way he fights, you know, but what I've noticed, he's become more patient in this game, using more feints, you know, um, to set up his attacks, you know, so not always jumping in as recklessly as he once did, you know, um, Paul has shown me a great chin and great heart, you know, uh, he's been taking a lot of shots from the likes of Keith Furman and, uh, Kelbrook, you know, in them losses, especially to Danny Garcia as well. But, you know, he's got a great chin, great stamina, you know, uh, great relentless pressure, you know, and that's what makes a lot of his opponents fold, you know. Um, you know, we've seen it many, many of times, you know, we've seen it against the likes of uh, Eric Bone, uh, Paulie Malinagi, you know, um, against Danny Garcia, you know, that style always, you know, seems to be effective, you know, it might not be the British of sp uh, styles. But, you know, it's effective for Sean Paul, and that's how he gets his victory, you know, by physically overwhelming his opponents. We've seen it in regards to when he fought uh, Andre Berto as well, you know. But I couldn't have an answer for the come forward aggressive wild style of Sean Paul, you know. Um, I had no answer to that, you know. But on the other hand, we're going to talk about Sean Paul and... Uh, what he does best uh, to disrupt the flow of Errol Spence Jr. I mean, he's got to come forward, you know, he's got to be very uh, patient in his work. He can't rush in. You know, Errol Spence Jr. is a great body puncher, you know, and he doesn't want to get caught with uh, a nice hook against Errol Spence Jr. because it could be over, you know. Errol Spence Jr. is a big world weight, and he's got a lot of power. What uh, Errol Spence Jr. Need, I mean, Sean Paul needs to do is just control the distance, you know, be more calculative in his uh, approach when, you know, trying to attack uh, Errol Spence Jr. Use a lot of feints. You know, I notice when when uh, people apply pressure on Sean Paul, on Errol Spence Jr., they don't use a lot of feints, you know, to set up their attacks. And they're generally uh, quite easy to pick off once Errol Spence Jr., recognizes that you're doing this uh, often and uh, Errol Spence Jr. uses his brain in the ring you know as we saw in the Mikey Garcia fight there's much more to it than him just coming forward and chopping down his opponent he's very smart you know and he can use his boxing ability if he, he needs to you know as we saw in the Mikey Garcia fight you know um, Errol Spence Jr. looking very good at the moment looking very dangerous you know, and I was really impressed with his uh, performance against Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is a great boxer, you know, great fundamentals. Um, definitely one of the best pound for pound in the lightweight division. You know, um, just well away wasn't his division. And the bigger man uh, beat, beat the smaller, bigger man in that fight, in my opinion. And it just come down to size, you know, and also boxing ability. But size played a big factor in that fight. 
Now it's going to be interesting for Errol Spence Jr. to take on a fire who's just as big as him, you know, in regards to Sean Porter. It'll be interesting to see if he can take, if he can keep Sean Porter off of him. You know, what Errol Spence Jr. needs to do, in my opinion, he needs to use that jab. You know, that jab was very effective against Mikey Garcia. You know, and he's got quicker hand speed than Sean Porter, I believe. Sean Porter is just a bit more aggressive with his style. You know, and he comes swarming forward. You know, and if he's able to keep uh, Sean Porter at the end of his jab, you know, that will be a great, great uh, successful tactic to towards victory. You know, I, I believe Errol Spence Jr. needs to stay off the ropes. This will, this will allow uh, him just keep it in the middle of the ring and not allow Sean Porter to gain any momentum and keeping him trapped on the ropes because... As we know, uh, Sean Paul likes to keep his opponents in a stationary position, you know, so he's able to land his feet and get get his shots off. I believe if Errol Spence Jr. can keep the footwork going, using using all four all four corners of the ring, keeping it in the center of the ring as well, shooting that jab to the body early on. That's what I like about Errol Spence Jr. He always uses his jab to set up his attacks, and that's the way it should be as. Uh, with boxing, everything comes from the jab. That's what I believe. So, um, Errol Spence Jr. does need to keep um, Sean Porter at a distance, you know. Um, also, mix it up with power punches, you know. I believe Sean, um, Errol Spence Jr. is very good at, um, you know, coming around the high guard with a, a, with an overhand right, you know. I saw it in the Mikey Garcia fight. Mikey Garcia was keeping a nice high guard, which Sean Porter likes to do. He came around the high card, you know, with a looping overhand right, you know, and that was very effective, you know. Um, not only that, Sean Porter will come in a, a lot aggressively, you know, he's gonna come in swarming forward with life, life, left and right hooks, um, you know. Um, so I expect Errol Spence Jr. to use his smarts, you know, and tie Sean Porter up a lot. We noticed in the Kell Brook fight that, uh, Sean Porter was getting tied up a lot against Kell Brook and he was getting frustrated, you know. Um, he didn't have an answer to that. So you know, if Errol Spence Jr. could keep uh, Sean Porter off of him by clinching every now and then as well, he'll physically, uh, you know, have a bearing on, on Sean Porter. Not only that, the boxing skill, I think, uh, definitely goes with Errol Spence Jr. in terms of power as well. I think Errol Spence Jr. definitely has an advantage, advantage over Sean Porter. Um, Sean Porter's uh, main attribute is his physicality. He needs to use that early on in this fight. But, you know, this leads me on to my final prediction, guys. I've got um, Errol Spence Jr. winning this fight, guys. The way I see this going is first couple rounds, you know, Sean Porter is going to be aggressive. He's going to use his physicality from the word go, you know, from this fight, you know, but he's going to be smart, you know, he can't be aggressive and reckless, you know, he's got to be aggressive and smart, you know, use feints, you know, to uh, make, make Errol Spence Jr. think a lot in the ring, use the jab as well, you know, to set up his counters, you know, um, and generally use that pressure, keep that pressure on um, Errol Spence Jr. for the whole 12 rounds, just don't believe Sean Paul will be able to do it, you know. Don't believe Sean Paul will be able to do that. So in the first couple rounds, I believe Sean Paul's aggressiveness will show. But once uh, Errol Spence Jr. starts adjusting to the tempo of the fight, you know, he's going to just pick apart Sean Paul with his jab all night long, you know. Um, his footwork's going to be a problem for Sean Paul. What will be interesting is to see if how Sean Paul can, you know, uh, overcome Errol Spence footwork and overcome uh, the high end reach advantage that uh, Errol Spence Jr. has over Sean Porter. You know, um, but I just feel that uh, Errol Spence Jr. will be able to take control in the mid to late rounds of this fight. You know, and start going uh, to uh, Sean Porter's body a lot. You know, which will sh slow down uh, Sean Porter's footwork. You know, Sean Porter will have to end up fighting Errol Spence Jr.'s fight, which is a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. And I believe that uh, Errol Spence Jr. could get the knockout here. 
Now we've seen uh, Sean Porter vulnerable at times, especially late on during fights uh, against Adrian Broner. He became very sloppy, especially in that last round, getting dropped with a um, right hand that he never saw coming from Adrian Broner. You know, so don't be surprised, guys, if we see um, Errol Spence Jr. getting a late stoppage here. You know, I wouldn't put that out of the question. No, um, Errol Spence Jr. is is a sort of fight that has a lot of power as well. So, you know, in my final prediction, guys, I think Errol Spence Jr. is going to win a late stoppage or a unanimous decision in this fight. You know, um, it's going to be a com competitive fight. You know, uh, but I just feel that Errol Spence Jr. in terms of boxing ability, uh, ring generalship. You know, and power, you know, will will definitely be the be the deciding factor here, you know. Sean Porter does, you know, tend to smother his own work as well. You know, um so yeah, let me know your thoughts guys as always. Let me know uh, if you think Sean Porter's got a decent chance. Do you agree with my prediction? You know, I got Earl Spence Jr. winning this fight guys, either by a late round stoppage or unanimous decision, you know, uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, the best boxing breakdowns and predictions, Saints Heavy Boxing, Dose, and I'm out.